All right. Hey, what's up, you guys? Happy Wednesday. Um, I was thinking about this, and just quickly, um, when you get into another relationship, since we are now all pretty well equipped to be able to spot a narcissist and get rid of their ass, um, I want you to do one thing. Go through the holidays twice. Go through the holidays two times. Okay, we all know that narcissists cannot resist annihilating each and every special day, any holiday, anything that is just remotely kind um, or uh, important in any way, right? So, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of marriage, but I'm a bigger fan of very long engagements, because um, you want to eliminate that time uh, where they feel like, well, we're married, we're trapped, we moved in together, you're trapped, um, we did this, you're trapped. Try to your best not to be trapped in any legal agreement, okay? Um, anyway, so go through the holidays twice. Go ahead and do that. Because that gives people time to either show their ass or show that they don't care, or um, ditch you maybe on the holidays, or start an argument on the holidays. I mean, really clock that. Actually um, go through the holidays. And and some people, if they really have the gusto to be gross, and some people do, um, they might make it through the first round of holidays, but usually they don't make it through every holiday on the first round. They have to mess at least two or three of them up. Okay, so go through them and more than likely they'll never even make it to a second round of holidays. Okay, so keep that in mind. I just wanted to tell you guys go through the holidays twice. Um, really interesting quote that I saw on social media. It was by 50 Cent, 50 Cent, 50 Cent, um, or if you want to be proper, 50 Cent's. Right. But anyway, he was saying that people are loyal to their comforts. Right. And I was like, that's so true because narcissists are comfortable with um, calamity. They're comfortable with problems. Um, they're comfortable with um, anything that creates anxiety and chaos. So they're very comfortable with chaos. And um Ironically, it's very sad that they they are so inequipped to be independent that they even depend on you for that chaos that you don't even want. I know I look really shiny. Um, it's hot as balls in here, and I'm waiting for the maintenance man who like hates black people, even though he's Spanish. Anyway, um, so so yeah, they're comfortable in chaos. They actually need you to be sad in order for them to be chaotic if you refuse to be sad and if you refuse to fail and fall on your face and uh, eliminate yourself from the planet then it doesn't work out for them and they are very uncomfortable because they're only comfortable if it's chaotic for you right anyway and then somebody else said um you find out who people are when you find out who people truly are when they don't get what they want that is highly true. I mean, that's partially true only because there's other means of finding out who someone is. Because even if you find out an aspect of them when they don't get what they want, how they respond to not getting what they want, there's still so much you just don't know about people. People are like the ocean to me. Um, you'll never get to the bottom of it, right? Ever. Um, so anyway, that's another reason, though, that you should go through the holidays twice guarantee you the wrong person they'll never make it to the second round right and you don't want to try to force it either as far as um forcing them to go through to the second round because i don't know this for sure because i haven't looked up the statistics but i can pretty much bet you without losing any of my money that there's no such thing as a snake charmer who hasn't been bitten at least once. And once is way too many. Right? So go through the holidays twice, y'all. Challenge that person. If you're already engaged, stay engaged for an extra year. 
let that person have time to be who they are because they cannot hold that in too long. They can't hold that in for more than like six months to a year. They just can't. It's got to come out. People lie, but time cannot, right? So give it that time. Do not be in a rush. Go through that long engagement. And um, the holidays twice. Anyway, that was just something on my mind. I uh, hope y'all hope y'all are having a... Uh, sorry, so hot. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's how hot it be in here. It's 80-something degrees. Um, yes, but go through the holidays twice. Love you guys. Bye.